Okay, can you put your name on your paper, please? So we're going to do your social studies quiz. Select the best answer for each of the following. During the late 1800s and early 1900s, many European countries were busy building empires by creating colonies in Africa and Asia. This is also known as, see imperialism right there. Next one, nationalism is best defined as Three, the power keg exploded and war began in Europe when who of the following was assassinated? Okay. okay. Which answer best describes a cause and effect relationship regarding the actions represented in the political cartoon above. What do you think? B? Okay. At the start of the war, President Wilson asks Americans You want me to read the choices? Yes. To side with the Central Powers, that's A. B, to side with allies. C, to side with American trade partners. Or D, to remain silent. Or to remain neutral, sorry. A, B, C, or D. B? Okay. Okay. Unrestricted submarine warfare, a policy whereby submarines can attack even neutral ships without warning, was used by A, Germany, B, Austria, Hungary, C, England, or D, Italy. A? Okay. Americans were outraged with the submarine attack and sinking of the luxury passenger liner. Which one? D, Lusitania? Okay. Okay, before we turn on, I didn't read some of the choices up here for one, two, or three. Do you want me to read any of them? Mm -hmm. Which one? Number two? Okay. Nationalism is best defined as A, the right to determine one's own form of government, B, unwelcoming to those of other races, C, Belief that one's nation is superior to all others, or D, being proud, protective, and loyal to one's own government. Do you like your answer? No? Okay, what do you want it to be? Instead of C, you want it to be what? D. Okay, cross off C and write your D. Oh, sorry, that was number one for number two. That's, remember? Okay, what's the answer you want? You said D? Okay, so write D next to it. Next to it, honey. Right here. Right here. Write D. Okay, uh, an uppercase D. I'm going to write it for you because <laughs> you crossed off the wrong one there. Okay. All right, let's turn the page. I'll start reading more of the answers. Okay. All right, sweetie. Eight, American sentiment towards Germany became downright hostile after publication of the what? Um, do you want me to read it? No? Okay, so which one? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, the Scheichel Gruber letter, which is A, German War Policy Manual, B, C, Zimmerman Telegram, or D, Maximilian Manifesto? C? Okay. 
In the above mentioned document, Germany tried to forge an alliance with who? A. Mexico, B. England, C. Cuba, or D. Canada? A. Okay. 10. American opinion was swayed to the Allies because of what? A. Propaganda, B. Economic interest, C. Ethnic and cultural ties, or D. All of the above? D? Okay. Okay, you can hold the paper too, sweetie. I'm just holding it because you're moving it. Which set of events related to World War I is in the correct chronological order? Oh, do you know? You can, do you already know? Okay, so which one is it? B? Okay. Okay. 12. So the 12 refers to this cartoon. Which answer best explains the author's point of view? Fighting between the sides was very active until the German advancement was stopped at the what? A? Okay. American, America finally entered World War I on what date? D? Okay. okay. During World War I, women supported the war effort by what? Hold the paper when you write so it doesn't move because your handwriting's getting rough there. Okay, hold the paper with mom, honey. Okay, in order to increase the number of soldiers, Congress passed the what? Okay, right there. During World War I, African Americans. D? The War Labor Board was set up to what? Okay, B. America helped to finance the war effort through the sale of what? D. Enacted on May 16, 1918, this law made it illegal to speak against the U.S. government or the United States war effort. B? Okay. The, clean, the clear and present danger ruling of the United States Supreme Court in Schenck versus United States established that what? D? President Wilson put blank in command of the American troops. B, okay, down here, in the blue mark. Okay. In order to protect American troops and supplies headed to Europe during World War I, the Navy began using what? C. In March 1918, Blank withdrew from the war as an ally because of a revolution and change of government at home. Okay. B. Okay. The Bolsheviks, led by V.I. Lenin, wanted to establish which of the following types of government? Following World War I, the peace conference to officially end the war was held where? A. Okay. At the post-war peace conference, President Wilson sought what? <laughs> C. Okay. The President Wilson learned early on that most of the European countries at the peace conference had what? A. Okay.
Oh, did you want me to to read any of these choices? Yes. Which, which one? Which number? Number. Which question do you want me to read? Two. One. Okay. Clear and pleasant danger ruling of the United States Supreme Court in Shank versus United States established that a third party pot third political parties must suspend their, their activities during wartime. B, accused pers persons must be advised of their rights. C, due process of law does not apply to the military. Or D, certain circumstances may limit the exercise of free speech. You said D. Are you happy with your answer? Do you need anything else read? What else do you want read? Number what? Two, so 20 what? 20. Twenty what? Are you, do you need another question read? Or are you happy with your choices? Are you happy with all of your answers right now? Okay, so we're going to move on. <laughs> okay, just checking. If you don't need me to read, I won't read, but I want to make sure that I do read if you need me to. President Woodrow Wilson, this is 29, wanted to form the League of Nations in order to what? C. President Wilson sought peace based upon the 14 points. Which of the following were included in the 14 points and intended to prevent the kinds of international problems that led to World War I? Okay. okay. After the Treaty of Versailles was finalized, President Wilson was... Which document imposed three these punishments? So these are the punishments up here in bold on Germany after World War One. So which document did that? D. Okay. Senate opposition to the United States membership in the League of Nations was based primarily on the what? A. Always comes down to money, doesn't it? Okay. A. Return to normalcy after World War I meant what? C. Okay. And, okay, extra credit. Complete one of the following. Do you want to do 35? Okay. What does this cartoon say about the ability of the League of Nations towards its intended purpose? So take a look, a rabbit. My offensive equipment being practically nil, it remains for me to fascinate him with the power of my eye. A, okay. All right, you're all done.